All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Christian Allen with TaylorMade Pest Control in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, I know everybody's been waiting for my unboxing video of this new device I have. It's the uh, APA applicator, uh, Anguish product applicator. It's a misting uh, adapter device to make a any electric blower like my Ryobi 40 volt uh, leaf blower that I have and any backpack sprayer, which I have the Flowzone Typhoon 2.5 um, into a misting backpack blower sprayer for mosquitoes and fleas, ticks, things of that nature. Um, so it came in Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I know Franklin's got a the Mist X and likes it. Uh, the reason why I went with this is because the Mist X had specific um, specific blowers that it had to work with uh, because of how it was designed. This is, says it works with any blower. Um, so I already had a Ryobi blower with three batteries. I didn't feel like trying to buy a new leaf blower with new batteries and spending that type of money. Um, so that's why I went with this. Um, shout out to uh, Philip Tubbs. Um, he's the one that uh, got me onto this. And so let's see how it works. Uh, this is like one of my first unboxing videos. So bear with me as we figure this out together. So as you see, I haven't done anything yet. So gotta cut it open and uh, open it live on the camera. All right. So we unbox it. It's got a cool write up. It shows you how to uh, use it. Assembly instructions. Don't mind my camera. Vivid likes to whistle. But you can see it's got great instructions. This is what it looks like. Uh, he was using a chapin and a stilt blower. But like he said, uh, like it says, like I said before, you can use anything got a card I guess if you have an issue the owner is Clayton and you can give him a call um, so let's get this part let's get this puppy started nicely well packaged we don't need this box anymore we'll toss it over there I don't have any patience to try to figure out how to open this bubble wrap. So we'll cut it open. So again, because you know, men and in the pest control industry, probably all dummies. So it's got more instructions just in case you lose the first one. Almost lost it there. It's got the clamps and the quick disconnect that you'll need and the device itself. So pretty cool, I'm excited see how we uh, put this thing together. Get that open. So if you look here, it's got the hose. And this is what connects to the end of the blower. And then it just screws tight so it doesn't go anywhere. It looks like it's got some nice brass a uh, copper uh, brass um, tips nozzles where the where the liquid comes out um, looks like it's really made well built um, I do need to get uh, straps for this uh, my buddy did tell me that it gets heavy so but we'll put it on I don't know if you can see it Slides right on, screw it shut or down. Yep, you'll feel it get tight. All right. And 
I'll probably figure something out to zip tie this so I don't have hose all over the place. But that's step one. I guess step two would be put the battery in. And we got that together. Easy peasy. Put that down. Now for the fun part, it looks like I am going to need to cut some hose. This is the scary part. So, this is the quick disconnect part. Uh, it takes a one fourth um, quick disconnect. It's got the clamps so you can uh, tighten up the hose so it doesn't leak. Um, this was $195, pretty much $200. Um, so, it's got everything we need. Uh, don't need that. Uh, Need a regular head screwdriver, got that. Now, here comes here comes the uh, the scary part. I'm gonna have to cut my hose and uh, figure out where I want to cut it. Um, probably, probably right here. Nope. All right. No turning back now. Screw that on. Put this over top. And then we'll clamp this shut. It's too wimpy. My handy dandy Leatherman. If you don't have a multi-tool, I would definitely suggest it, especially in this industry. That one's too big. Don't mind me. I'm not very handy and I'm a little slow. I guess getting only a couple hours sleep last night, that'll do it too. All right, now it's tightening. It's got a long ways to go still, so. I'm not very, not very handy. It's a little cold out here too, so. All right, that's well tightened. So I can still have my flow zone wand um, when I want to spray perimeters of houses. Um, I can still just just quick uh, quick disconnect this from that part, and um, I got everything else. Uh, am I missing a piece? Oh, okay. I'm slow, but. This piece got to go on the other side of it and it was just connected to the hose already. So thought I was missing the piece, but I'm just an idiot. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it snaps shut and then this little button releases it right there. That's pretty cool. Sorry about my camera. It likes whistling. I guess I could have turned it off for this video, but oh well.
Didn't think that one through all the way. Let me take that off. That on first. Snap that in. Been so busy this week, haven't been able to clean up in the house, so I really didn't have a place to do it. Plus, this is an outside sprayer, so got my makeshift working table with my Home Depot bins. You now, if I was thinking, probably could have got my uh, drill and made this a lot quicker, but. Again, I'm not thinking too good today. It's all good. A little bit closer. All right, that's pretty tight. So it's on the end of my backpack it's pretty easy so easy i could do it and that's saying a lot all right got that together give me a few minutes i forgot some water we'll fill up my backpack sprayer by the way like i said this is just going to be water i don't got gloves on i don't have my face shield on I'm just spraying water. My backpack sprayer has been cleaned out. I don't really use it in the winter time. So it's cleaned out. There's no chemical. It's, it's good. We're not gonna kill anybody or get me sick. Name of the game, be right back. All right, so I'm back. My remote wasn't working. Sorry about that. All right, and my phone might be dying soon, but I got a little bit of water, about a gallon. I'm gonna fill up the uh, flow zone. Again, this is just gonna be water. This is my water jug that I use. I don't got a fancy uh, water tank in my journey nor do I have the space, so I carry about three or four of these. And that's how I keep my stuff filled. A little more than a gallon. Throw that over here. Put this up. Got a battery in there. All right. Then we'll hook this up. Snaps really good. I like that connection. All right. Now I'll get my camera girl, my wife. Uh, side note, my wife is great. She's a great camera person, camera girl. Um, none of this would be possible without her. She keeps me um, organized. She keeps me on point. She strains me out when I get some do some crazy ideas. Um, I don't think I'd be able to start a business without being married and without Kantea, my wife. Um, I know she's never going to kill bugs, but props to her. I think she is going to take her applicator's test uh, in April, and uh, she'll be a bug woman that hopefully one day will get her to kill things. But if she doesn't, um, she's beautiful. I love her. She records a lot of these videos for me and uh, like I said she keeps me organized and keeps me on straight and narrow and uh, I need that because I my mind goes a million miles an hour and it's all over the place and I need somebody to reel me in and keep me straight um, but I'm gonna go get her she's gonna help me record this video and I will show you how this thing works all right so I got my beautiful camera lady now um, and now we'll put this on so this goes like this We 
loosen up straps a little bit. Gain some weight, I guess. Tighten that up. Loosen that out. Whew. Got quite easy. All right. Turn the backpack sprayer on. Power's up. We got this. This is a little stiff. Right, you got this? You got this on. Oh. Right. You're getting that? Look at that nice spin. In that turbo. get that all right so this is cool i guess the only thing i really don't like is one this doesn't seem to be staying on too good um maybe i need to tighten it down two it would be nice if this little valve was over here um instead of having to reach it and turn it on before i'm quite ready this is going to get a little bit heavy so Philip was right, but I want a shoulder strap. Otherwise, I'll have a really strong arm. Um, but uh, we'll come over here and we'll see about three some these bushes. Maybe turn it up. More power. We got a little flow. Move my leaves. So, overall, I am going to need a strap. This thing's super heavy. Um, gonna wear my arm out real quick. Uh, the battery should last me good, and I got extra batteries. Um, it seems like it puts a, a lot of chemical out right here, so with the uh, pressure, it does does get it out. Uh, let's see how far it goes. Let's get back a little bit. All right, ready? We'll crank this bad boy up full pressure. you think that was like I don't know that's probably a good 10 feet so it's got some distance once I crank this uh, uh, backpack sprayer all the way up so we'll show it again there's water in my glass Obviously, with it being cold and still February, I got a couple weeks before uh, we start doing mosquitoes. Um, so it'll be a couple weeks before I have like a real world test. I am gonna know, I'll probably zip tie this here so I don't got that just hanging and as much. Um, I'm going to buy a strap. Ryobi might sell one or I'll find another one. So it's a shoulder strap, so I don't have to carry this with just one hand, because that's, that's heavy. Um, it seems like it's got a lot of power with my uh, flow zone. It's got good distance. It's, it's still got that, uh, the airflow to, to get underneath the foliage and stuff of the of bushes and trees where mosquitoes and ticks and fleas will, um, will rest. Um, so I think, I think this is going to work out. Like I said, I got three batteries um, for the leaf blower, so and it's a 40 volt, so it should 
I should have good coverage for hopefully all day. Uh, probably get an inverter so I can charge them in my car um, just in case or I can get new batteries. But overall, I think I like it. Um, I'm not a big gas powered guy. Uh, I like these batteries. Not really about eco-friendly, just don't like gas spilling in my car and making a whole bunch of mess. Um, so that's why I like this option. And uh, I'm excited for flea ticket mosquito season now and we'll see how it does. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I know I already signed off already, but I wanted to show you guys really quick how easy it is to go from leaf blower to regular attachment. So like I said, there's this button. Slide that off. Put that back on. Turn the, turn the volume down. Not the volume, the pressure down. And now I can go to a regular spray. Again, this is just water, but it's pretty easy. And it looks like I didn't have to turn this off because this takes the pressure. So it doesn't leak. Done with the spray in the house. Now I'm spraying for mosquitoes again. Go back, turn this back on. So pretty easy. Alrighty, I'm done for real this time. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.